Good morning, friends. Brian King here. To begin with, if you happen to be watching this live, please type hashtag live in the comments. And if you are watching the replay, please type hashtag replay. I have a lot of uh, Kleenex under my nose. <laughs> and allergy season, the first day of spring, when I uh, blow my nose, my fuzz acts like Velcro. Anyway, aside from that tangent, I love the conversations that I have on Facebook every single day. And a lot of them come through Messenger, whether uh, from people that just want to ask a quick question or from clients. And I always learn a lot about what people are going through every single day and just what's holding them back. And one thing I'm constantly reminded of, and I know this is not news to you, is that what's between your ears is your greatest advantage. Mindset is everything. How you use your brain determines your reality. I received a message yesterday from somebody asking me, if I had any suggestions on how to overcome the fear of crashing while traveling on an airplane. And ironically, I used to be terrified of flying. I mean, I would white knuckle it the whole way. And I shared with this person that, well, I can only share how I've dealt with it over the years. And I've discovered some various tools that I decided to combine into one overall strategy, and it's worked beautifully. You know, I do things like mindfully managing my breath so that it stays deep and relaxed instead of that high hyperventilating panicky type of stuff. I'll press my feet against the floor to pretend that I'm actually walking on earth someplace and that things are really stable and so on. And another thing I pointed out to this person is that in reality, the fear of crashing isn't really the issue. It's your insistence upon dwelling on the fear of crashing. You perseverate on it. You roll it around in your brain. You allow your feelings to intensify each time you roll it around and you just create your own panic. So how do you solve that problem? Well, you remember that you have the power to change your focus at any time in your day. Just because a fear comes up doesn't mean it needs your undivided attention. And you don't need to roll it around over and over again like a, a clothes dryer. You can just switch to something else, but you do have to have a replacement, okay? And you know this as well. Each day, our brain is really good at reminding us what our fears are, right? It's always scanning for danger. That's what it does. Its job is to protect us, to keep us alive. But again, just because that tends to be the default doesn't mean that's what you have to run with. Now, I was watching a movie last night with my boys. It's the, the new Jumanji movie with The Rock in it. I, I think it's hysterical. I highly recommend it. But one of the more peripheral characters kept repeating the phrase, the world is a dangerous place. And if you hear that enough and you start believing it, or you say that enough to yourself, you will convince yourself that the world, meaning everything, is dangerous. And you'll be afraid every time you walk out your door. But let me qualify that belief a little bit. Now, I agree that there are places in the world that could be considered more dangerous than others. For example, you know, out in the African safari where there's no protection and the animals can just come at you and eat you. That's a dangerous place. Walmart on a Sunday, a dangerous place. Okay. So you need to be more specific with your beliefs. These all or nothing beliefs don't give you a lot of wiggle room to find solutions because you just decided there are no solutions. All of it is bad. That's simply the case. But some of it is a problem. Well, then some of it isn't you have more opportunity to be creative, to explore. And it's also important to remember that for every problem, for every fear, there's another side of that coin. Again, switch your focus. Whenever you start with one thing, there's always another. There's always a backside to it. And one thing I've discovered, because I grew up being one of the most anxious people you'll, you'll ever meet. I was afraid of everything. I still have some anxiety. It's nothing like it was. And what I learned to do is when I would start thinking about, oh, why it's probably not a good idea to do this or why this is probably dangerous, I learned to flip the coin and ask myself, okay, what are the benefits of this happening? What are the benefits of taking this action? And I found that if I spend enough time in those solutions, I would get excited, empowered. I'd see the possibility, the abundance. And when that experience I allowed to become just a little bit stronger than the fear I felt when I fixated on the problem. 
suddenly the problem just became a doorway to the solution because I wanted to get to that experience of excitement, empowerment, possibility. So I feel the problem for a second and say, okay, well, yeah, I can see why this would be an issue. You know, there's all these possible consequences. However, if we look at the action side of it, imagine all the stuff that we could do there. So again, shifting your focus. Here's the bottom line of this message. When you leave your house or when you engage the world living in fear, you see all these things coming at you. This is standing in my way. Uh, this is dangerous. This is why I should hesitate. And you think you're in competition with the world. It's all these things you need to be wary of. And in some cases, again, that's true. But the reality is this. The competition is right here. It's right between your ears. You create the vast majority of the barriers. You are projecting your fears upon the world and making it dangerous, making it reasons to hesitate. But when you flip that and you start thinking about the solutions and the opportunities, now the world is this cornucopia. You're not competing with the world anymore. All you're competing with, and please hear this, all you're competing with is your own imagination. How big can you think? How many solutions can you find? How many possibilities can you discover? Your limits become your imagination. Even Einstein said that. So think about that. The competition you now believe exists out there in the world doesn't exist. It's a projection of your fears. And when you are able to peel all those away or disintegrate them by thinking about the possibilities instead, where does the competition go? It goes away and suddenly you're left with nothing but possibilities. I love talking about this stuff and I help people every single day to shift their thinking from fear to possibility. If that's something you wanna explore for yourself and I suspect you do, because you're watching this video, shoot me off a message. I'll share the particulars with you and I'm sure you'll find them pretty exciting too. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. It means the world to me. This has been Brian. Don't forget to share if you really like this and know somebody that can benefit from it. Until next time, talk to you soon.